Hello, a very very good evening to all my lovely boys and girls. I hope all of you are doing good and you're all excited for this fast track series. Very important session on statistics. So people, did you all check out the formula and mind maps video? So I had shared that in the telegram group. I hope you all have seen it and come because in that I have covered all the formulas which are needed for this chapter. Okay, so today we will complete this chapter. We will solve all the difficult previous year's questions and we will master them. Okay, are you ready? Vishwajit, yes Vishwajit, that's the spirit I was looking for. Come on guys, if you're all ready, put a fire in the chat and let me know if you guys are excited by smashing that like button. Yes, Aparna, good evening Aparna. Vishwajit, Archaya, Nandini, Hari Prasad, even Joseph. Okay, great. We have somebody with my surname, great. Emp Zain, Shruti, Sanjeet, nice to see everybody sharp on time. So people, without any delay, shall we begin? So who will be teaching you all this? Your master teacher, Shimon sir. So let me introduce myself. My dear boys and girls, like you, when I was young, when I was in school, I also prepared for engineering exams and I wrote J.E. mains. I was one of the state toppers in Tamil Nadu. I got state rank 5 and I also cleared advance. I studied in IIT Madras, India's number one institute. So after graduating from IIT, I wanted to teach because teaching is something which I am really passionate about and that is why I am here in this J English channel helping you guys out. So if you love our content, make sure you subscribe, share it to your friends and also be regular to our classes. Okay, so let's begin boys and girls. This is the channel. So if you enjoy the content, guys, small favor, you can subscribe and also if you know your friends who need this, share it to them. Okay, that's a request from our side. It will mean a lot to us if you can share it to your friends, your juniors and seniors. Got it? So now let's begin our session. First question. So we are going to solve previous year questions and they're all of good level. They're all recent year questions. I'm not going to solve 100 years back, 50 years back. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve very recent year, last four, five years questions. Okay. So let's do it. Come on, guys. Hello, Aishwarya. Welcome. Good evening. Shravani, thank you so much. That means a lot. Waiting to study in IIT Madras. Aparna, congrats. That's the spirit. Work hard, you will get it. Don't worry. Samskruti, welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody try to solve it, guys. Come on. You all can do it. Don't give up. It's a very nice starter question. The starting itself is a very nice question. Everybody try it. I will help you. If you know the formula, then this is very easy. If you know the formulas, how many of you here saw the formula session? I shared it in the telegram group. I shared it in this channel. So if you haven't checked it, please do check it out. Okay. Kaja. Welcome. Nice to see you Kaja. Deepshika. Very good Deepshika. Then you should solve it perfectly. Because once you know the formula, these are all very easy to solve. Gautam. I am doing statistics because one question will pakka come from that and it will give you some confidence. Don't worry, I will do some high weightage topics also. Next is definite integral. So don't worry, I will cover everything Gautam. This is just to boost the confidence of students. Because statistics, everybody finds it easy, right? So once you get that confidence, one question pakka you will get. That will give you happiness, right? Okay, so everybody is like, sir, we give up, sir. It is difficult, sir. You only solve, sir. Okay, shall I do it? You guys give up. Do you accept defeat? Do you accept defeat? Shall I do it for you? <laughs> Come on, guys. What is this? Tell me that you have accepted defeat. Okay, I'm being a sadist now. <laughs> anyway, I will solve it. I'll help you guys, okay? I will help you. Yashwant, welcome Yashwant. Glad to have you here, man. Welcome. Okay. So, Yashwant, uh, how do you join Vedantu? So, below this video, you will see 
description. In the description, we'll have links to join the crash course. Clicking on that, you can join Vedantu, okay? Otherwise, you message me on Telegram, I will help you. Because I need to know what is your class, what exam you are preparing for. But please do that after the session by messaging me here. Right now, let's focus on the question, okay? So let's do it, people. Great. So now, what do they say? Mean of 20 observations. So that means, mean is nothing but what? Mean is nothing but average. So x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way up to x20 by 20 is equal to 15. Correct now? Do you all agree? Let's go step by step. Let's go step by step. Okay. Please be very active guys. I want you to be involved. You also solve. Take out your pen. Take out your notebook. Solve it along with me. And then tell whether you are able to follow it. You are able to get it or not. Got it? I'm going, I'm going step by step only. Okay. So next one. What is variance? Variance is 9. So we know variance is sigma square. That is 9. That is what? That is nothing but sigma xi square by 20 minus mean square. Correct now? That is a formula for variance. Variance is equal to sigma xi square by number of terms minus mean square. Those who saw my formula session will know this formula. Correct now? Very important. Very good job guys. So now mean is how much? Mean is only 15, right? Mean is only 15. So I'll put 15 here. I'll get 15 square. So now 15 square, let's bring it to the left side. So 15 square is 225, 225 plus 9 is equal to sigma xi square by 20. Are you all clear? Everybody? Are you all happy with this? Yes? Everybody clear now? So what is sigma xi square? This is 225 plus 9 which is 234. So sigma xi square is 234 into 20. So that is sigma xi square. And sigma xi also I know. Sigma xi will be what? Sigma xi will be 300. 20 into 15. So both of that we have got it. I have done it very slowly. I am sure all of you would have understood it. Got it? Now let's come to the question. They want mean of these things. So mean of xi plus alpha whole square by 20. So this is what they want. They want us to find this value. Correct now. They want us to sum everything. Divide by 20. They want the mean of all these things. So that is given to be how much? 178. Cor correct now. Very easy. Are you all able to understand? They have given the mean to be 178. So 178 into 20 will be sigma xi plus alpha whole square. Everybody clear? Again, step by step. So this will be what? 178 into 20 will be 3560. Is that correct? So 3560 is equal to sigma xi square plus alpha square plus 2 alpha xi. Is that okay with everybody? Is that okay with everybody? So now let's write only the important points. Let me remove everything else. So what did I get? I know sigma xi is equal to 300. And I know sigma xi bar xi square is equal to, we got 234 into 20. So these are the things I have. Now we need to use it. So let's use it. 3560 is equal to sigma xi square plus sigma alpha square will be what? It will be 20 alpha square. Because alpha square is a constant that is getting added 20 times. Why 20 times? Because this sigma runs from i equal to 1 to 20. So 20 times I am adding alpha square. So that is what becomes 20 alpha square. Then the last term will become 2 alpha sigma xi. So sigma xi square is what? 234 into 20. So sigma xi square is what? 
टू थर्टी फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी सिग्मा एक्साइज वॉट सिग्मा एक्साइज थ्री हंड्रेड दैट्स इट नाउ डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी इफ आई डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी आई विल गेट वन सेवेंटी एट दिस ट्वेंटी गोस दिस ट्वेंटी गोस दिस विल बिकम फिफ्टीन सो आई लाव वन सेवेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू टू थर्टी फोर प्लस आल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी आल्फा नाउ कैन यू गेट सॉल्व दिस नाउ कैन यू गेट द आंसर आर यू ऑल हैप्पी डिड यू लव इट यस एवरीबडी क्लियर विथ दिस great 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 come on guys this is just the last step can you finish it and tell me the answer come on very good vishwajit vishwajit is right i am so proud of you very good job vishwajit like that everybody come on guys i want you all to solve it i want you all to tell me the right answer very good superb Rithvik has got it. So people, let's solve this and finish it off. Okay. Now everything I'll erase. But guys, I am hoping that you're all listening. You're all able to understand. These are all very good questions. You need to be able to solve to this level. Okay. We will practice enough, but stay till the end. Practice along with me. Every question we will do from first step till last step. But understand, understand and work hard. Okay. Great. So now bring everything to left hand side. You will have alpha square plus thirty thirty alpha. Then two thirty four minus one seventy eight. Correct now. So two thirty four minus one seventy eight means what? It will be how much, my dear boys and girls? It will be fifty six. Correct now. So I need to factorize this. So this will factorize as alpha plus twenty eight, alpha plus two. So that is equal to zero. So alpha will be minus two comma minus twenty eight. So they want the square of maximum value of alpha, which is maximum value. Tell me correctly. What is the maximum value of alpha? It is minus two, not minus twenty eight. Don't do that mistake. Okay, that is LKG mistake. LKG mistake. Leave it in LKG only. Got it? So the maximum value of alpha is. Minus two, so square of that, so square of that will be four. How good was this? This you are supposed to solve in three minutes in the exam. How much time we took? Ten minutes or twelve minutes. This you are supposed to solve in three minutes. Got it? Did you all like it? Are you happy? So shall I move forward? Everybody, please let me know in the chat, people. Good. Very good. Awesome, guys. So like that only we'll practice. We will practice quality questions. Okay. If you're happy, let's move forward. But guys, if you didn't see the formula session, please go watch it. There is no shame in accepting, and don't think you know everything. You know my formula revisions. I include very good formulas. very important concepts so better go have a look in case you have not seen it okay calculator can be used rithvik no man no need to use did i use calculator i did not use and when i was preparing for the session i solved these questions without using calculator and i was able to do in under 3 4 minutes okay easily you can do it under 3 minutes if you practice enough okay so let's go So the next question come on people another interesting legendary question everybody should try and everybody should get this right come on people yes hitesh why not hitesh you should aim for 99 if you aim for 99 then only you will at least get 150 160 above and break that 95 96 percentile so aim high and start working okay Vishnu, if you work hard, yes, it is possible. One thirty is not a very tough score. It is doable, but you need to work, Vishnu. You cannot keep thinking about doing it. Start working. How many hours is there in JEE exam? Three hours, guys, as always. Always it has been three hours. 
Are you ready? So people, can you all try to do this? I will also help you. I will solve slowly explaining. Those who don't want to listen to me, pause the video. Okay? Others can listen to me. I will give you little, little steps. Okay? Calculator will be provided in the exam. Rithvik, virtual calculator. Yes, sometimes it's provided. It depends on the year. So please wait for the instruction. Okay. Mean and standard deviation of 40 observations are 30 and 5. So that means what? Sigma xi i equal to 1 to 40 is equal to uh, mean is how much? 30 by 40. Correct now? So this is your mean. Are you all happy? This everybody knows. I did not write rocket science. I did not write something legendary. Something basic only I have asked. Okay. So virtual calculator. I am sorry guys. It is not provided in JE mains. So no calculator in JE mains. You have to do it on your own. But don't worry. The values are not that bad. They are giving you decent values only. So you can calculate easily. Okay. Are you all clear? Where are the options? Rahul. Numerical question Rahul. Section B is numerical. Nah. Everybody clear? Okay. So now next one. Variance. Standard deviation is given. So sigma is given. What is sigma? Sigma is 5. So variance is how much? Variance is sigma square which is 25. So variance is equal to sigma xi square for all the 40 observations summed up together by 40 minus mean square which is 30 square. Did you all like it? Are you all happy? Everybody clear? Now, if you are all happy, let's move forward. I am moving step by step so that you guys will love it. You guys will understand and get clarity in things. Okay, very good. Now, what is sigma xi? Sigma xi for i equal to 1 to 40 is how much? It is 1200. How 1200? Because 40 into 30 is 1200. 40 into 30 is 1200. Correct now? Very good, Sanjeet. Brilliant, Shravani. Very good, very good. Yes, even Joseph. 238 is absolutely correct. Brilliant job. That's correct. Okay. Now, uh, the next one. I want to find sigma xi square. So, can somebody tell me what is sigma xi square for i equal to 1 to 40? Sigma xi square will be how much? This is 900. 30 square is 900. 900, if I bring to the left hand side, minus 900 will become plus 900. So, 25 plus 900. So, 25 plus 900 will become 925. So, 925 into 40. That is 37,000. Correct, now? Did you all like it? Very good, Nanda. It is 37,000. Correct, now? So, I have got the two most important sigmas. Guys, always remember, these two are very important for these questions. What is sigma? This sigma is standard deviation. This sigma is standard deviation. This sigma is summation. Okay. I hope you all got it. Are you all clear? Hitesh, go check out my formula video. Today, under the channel video section, not live, under video section, today I posted formula for this class. So please go check it out. You will find it very helpful. Okay. Great. So people, are you all clear? So shall I erase this? Now, what are they saying? They are saying, my dear boys and girls, what they are saying is, they are removing two observations. They are removing 12 and 10. Because they are wrong. Because they are wrong, we will remove 12 and 10. Okay. Everybody clear? So, from all the observation summation, from all the observation summation, I am removing 12, I am removing 10. So, that will give me the sum of all the remaining terms to be 1200 minus 22, which is 1178. That is the summation of all the terms apart from 
10 and 12. Correct now? So this is the summation of all the terms apart from 10 and 12. Correct? Are you all able to follow? Superb. Now same way, I want to find out the summation of all the squares without 10 and 12. Okay? So summation of all the squares without 10 and 12 square. So that will be how much? 37,000 minus 224. That will be how much? 36,244, right? 756. Is that correct? Because 100, 144. 100 plus 144 is 244. So 37,000 minus 244 is 36,756. Got it? Very good. Now I have everything. I have sum of all the terms without 10 and 12. I have the sum of the squares. Now we want the new standard deviation. The new standard deviation. So the new standard deviation square will be equal to variance. That is the new variance. So this is the new variance. Correct now. So the new variance is sigma xi square for the remaining 38 terms. Why 38 terms? Because two terms are removed. No replaced. No replaced Vishwa. Vishwa. Two values are removed only. So 40 terms will now become 38 terms. Got it? So 40 terms will now become 38 terms only. So you divide by 38. Minus mean of that. Mean of that is what? Sigma xi from i equal to 1 to 38 by 38 whole square. Did you all like it? So that is the new variance formula. So that will be what? Sigma square is equal to 36756 by 38 minus 1178 by 38 whole square. So that is my answer. Please figure it out. I am sure you guys will get it. Can you all solve it? Everybody, come on guys. Everybody try to finish it off. Quick, 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 quick. What is the answer you are getting? Did you all like it? Was it brilliant? What happened guys? Nobody is active in the chat. Everybody understood, right? The answer will come out to be 38 sigma square will come out to be 238. I think that's correct. Okay, that would have been the right answer for this question. If you're all happy, let's go. Shall we? Yes. <laughs> great, 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 great. So good job guys. So let us move forward now to the next question. I hope you all liked it. After this, it's a piece of cake guys. You all can complete it. Are you all having fun? Did you all like these questions? If you are enjoying it, let me know in the chat with a fire and smash that like button in case you are enjoying it and if you need more such videos. Because we are doing this for you and we want you to utilize it. Yes? Everybody? It takes too much time sir. Even Joseph, practice. So if you are doing this in under 3 to 4 minutes, it's good enough, not bad. 3 to 4 minutes is not bad. But if you take more than 10 minutes, that is bad. Okay? Very good. Isn't answer coming out to be negative? Uh, no, Sanjit, it will be correct only. Check it, check it properly. Because here you have 38 inside the bracket, Sanjit. Check it. Okay? Very good. So with that, let's move forward. I hope all of you are clear. Let's go. Next question, please try it out people, everyone. 2.50 is not bad, that is good, that is good. Okay, so everybody try to solve this guys, be quick, be quick. It is negative 31 square. How oh man? No, no, this is some typing mistake. Check it, check it. Okay. You will get correct only, Sanjeet. Please use calculator and see. No. 
प्लीज यूज कैलकुलेटर एंड सी वॉट वी डिट इज राइट ओनली ओके दिस इज सम मिस्टेक दिस इज नॉट राइट ओके सो वॉट आई सॉल्व वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट सो जस्ट कैलकुलेट दिस यू विल गेट द राइट आंसर इफ यू वॉन्ट यूज कैलकुलेटर एंड चेक इट नो ओके गॉड इट सो या लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम ऑन गाइज एवरीबडी ट्राई इट गुड गुड संजीत Yes, Ramu. Tell me, Ramu, what is your doubt? Can I crack it in twelfth? Because eleventh I wasted. Yes, Ramu. If you have one year of twelfth standard, you study twelfth properly, you will be able to crack it. MCQs also will come, Anil. We never know. Sometimes MCQs, sometimes numerical. We don't know. So you have to be ready for both. I will show you MCQs also. Okay. Johnny, try to cover it fast. Try to do it faster so that you will cover all the portions. Okay. Great, Kaja. I am glad you are loving it. So, people, please complete it fast. What is the answer for this? I hope all of you are solving. This is a very nice question. It is a very nice question. Johnny, you can refer to one-shot videos. One-shot videos in YouTube are a very good resource to cover portions faster. and if you cannot do full portion try to do at least the important topics first attempt try to do 70 80% of the syllabus and second attempt prepare fully okay exactly gautam you need to practice a lot this question is also not very simple so what is mean deviation about mean mean deviation about mean is sigma modulus of xi minus x bar Divided by n, that's the formula. Correct, na? Those who saw my video will know this. Those who saw my video formula revision today, I posted it at twelve o'clock in the noon. So if you knew this, it's a very easy question. Okay. So how many terms are there? N terms. What is the mean? The mean is nothing but one plus two plus three all the way up to n divided by n. So, what is the sum of first n natural numbers? N into n plus one by two. That is the sum of first n natural numbers, and we have divided by n. So, n and n will get cancelled. So, the mean is n plus one by two. Are you all clear? Are you all happy? I found the mean. I found the mean. Are you all clear? Exactly, Sanjeev, you are right. Happy. So shall I move forward? Very, very, very good. Superb, superb. You guys are awesome. So now let's calculate mean deviation. So mean we got. That is your mean. Now mean deviation we need to calculate. So mean deviation how do you calculate? Mean deviation is how much? It is five n plus one by n is equal to. It is sigma x i. First one is one. So one minus x bar, x bar is n plus one by two, and then next term is two. So two minus n plus one by two, like that. Last term is what? Last term is n. So it is n minus n plus one by two. Are you all happy? Did you all get it? And whole divided by n. This is mean deviation formula. Are you all happy with this? Yep, basics are related chapters for statistics. Smita, statistics is just one important topic from which you will get questions. Related to that, you can study mathematical reasoning, probability, P and C. But yeah, these are all quite important topics. You will get at least one question from each. Johnny, you have to like calculation, man, because of late, J E mains papers, especially maths, are very lengthy. so you need to get used to calculation only then you will score well okay so start liking calculation everybody clear with this so now people what i'm going to do is i'm going to cancel n and n so n and n will go away so let's remove the denominators denominators are gone now my question has become slightly easy my question has become slightly simple okay so everybody watch out now so on the 
left hand side I have 5 n plus 1 on the right hand side let's simplify the de denominator okay let's take LCM if I take LCM I'll get 1 minus n by 2 here if I take LCM and simplify I'll get 3 minus n by 2 okay and here if I simplify I'll get n minus 1 by 2 so you see this term and this term are the same correct now are you all clear this term and this term are the same I hope all of you are able to see that everybody cool so now they said n is odd number so if you have odd numbers if you have odd numbers and exactly you will have one middle term correct now exactly you will have one middle term so can I say this is just twice of n minus 1 by 2 plus n minus 3 by 2 n minus 5 by 2 and so on till 0 are you all clear sir how sir because this and this are the same and the middlemost number will be 0 why why sir it will be 0 because n is odd so n plus 1 by 2 will be a number a natural number and these are all natural numbers so n plus 1 by 2 will cancel with one of the terms understood n plus 1 by 2 will cancel with one of the terms that is the middle term so that term will be 0 so about that it will be symmetrical about that it will be symmetrical so I will do twice of this in this way I can get rid of the modulus in this way I can get rid of the modulus are you all happy with this did you all love it this was a brilliant step this is the magic step in this question not many are aware of this are you all clear everybody happy with this so shall I move forward so now let's complete it my dear boys and girls let's finish off this question and move to the next one okay so what will happen now is this 2 2 2 2 2 2 2, two will get cancelled so I have 5 times n plus 1 is equal to n minus 1 plus uh, n minus 3 and all the way up to 0 okay are you all clear everybody yes so this is how many terms this is n plus 1 by 2 terms correct now because totally we have n terms n terms about the middle term I am making it symmetric so the middle term is n plus 1 by 2 the term got it the middle term is n plus 1 by 2 the term so about the middle term I am making it symmetric so this will have n plus 1 by 2 terms now this is an arithmetic progression so arithmetic progression we all know what is summation so what is the summation the summation is equal to number of terms by 2 into first term plus last term that's it over very easy let do n plus 1 n plus 1 cancel so 5 is equal to n minus 1 by 4 so n is equal to 21 laddu max very good question Junaid absolutely yes Junaid it is not a very easy question but yeah good question from mean deviation did you like it was this fire this was an absolute killer question I hope you loved it okay everybody clear with this guys can you all let me know in the chat please do that quickly and then we'll move forward are you all clear everybody please do it fast great 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 recap so recap you can pull the video and watch it again and also the formulas for these questions I made a video on it today at 12 noon it was shared check under the videos section of this channel you will get it okay are you all clear very good so people I use the mean deviation formula so everything in this question is simple only part is 
how to take care of modulus. So that is where I use symmetric nature and I solved it. So that is very important. Okay. Very good. So with that, let's move forward to the next question. Come on guys, try to solve it. Please do it fast. This is a very easy question. So don't get scared. This session is not to make you get scared. Okay. This session is to give you some confidence. So this will definitely help you. Please try it out. If you listen to the formula which I shared today, you can easily crack this question. Mohan, I will definitely do it Mohan, don't worry. Okay, if we have time, we will cover everything in master channel also. Panvita, thank you Panvita, I am glad you are loving it. Gautam, I know, statistics is an easy chapter but from that also tricky questions are coming. So you need to prepare to such an extent where you can handle all those tricky questions. That is what we are teaching you here. Okay. So please try to solve it. I will also help you in this question. So what is the formula? The variance for first n natural numbers is n square minus 1 by 12. The variance for first n natural numbers is n square minus 1 by 12. I have taught you this. How many of you remember this? Do you all remember this, my dear boys and girls? Everybody, please let me know in the chat with the fire, with an AD square and smash that like button in case you are enjoying it. Okay? Are you all clear with this? Very good, Deepshika. Fantastic. So, what do they say? Variance is 14. So, variance is equal to 14. So, what is n square minus 1? n square minus 1 is 12 into 14. 12 into 14 is how much? It is 168. So 168, this minus 1 will go plus 1. So n square is 169. If n square is 169, n is 13. So that's your answer. I hope all of you liked it. So if you got 13, you get full marks. So there are easy questions. But you should know this formula. If you don't know this formula, again, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes you will spend. That's a waste of time. But if you know this formula, 30 seconds. You are done and you can move to the next one. Very good Junaid, that's awesome. Anil, very good Anil, you are amazing. Gautam, Shravani, fantastic job people. You guys have nailed it. So now let's move forward to the next question, okay? The next question is over here. Everybody try to solve it, come on guys. It's a very simple, easy, Systematic question. So let's solve it in an organized manner. We will reach the answer no matter what. Okay. So go for it. <laughs> Marishwaran, I got used to it. That's why. <laughs> exactly, Gautam. You see easy question. You see tricky question. You cannot expect anything. That's the unpredictable nature of J mains. So you need to be ready for both. In your paper, you might get tough question. In your paper, you might get easy question. So, better be ready for both. You prepare. Don't worry about the paper. That is what I keep telling you. Work hard. Solve a lot of questions. Solve previous year's questions. And then go for the exam. Come what may, you will be able to conquer it. Got it? That is the level I want you to prepare for. That is the quality of preparation this channel student should have. J English channel means you should prepare to that extent. Got it? Answer is 12. Everybody is so fast. You guys are legendary man. Okay. You are solving like jet speed. <laughs> Bullet speed only. Okay. Anyway, I'll solve it for you. Listen carefully. The mean is uh, 5 and uh, variance is 10. So mean is what? Mean is 3 plus 7 plus X plus Y by 4 equal to 5. Variance is what? Variance is sigma square. So variance is 10. So variance is equal to uh, 3 square plus 7 square plus x square plus y square by 4 minus mean square. Mean square is 5 square. Both these you understood? How many of you understood both of this? How many of you understood both of this if you guys got both of this please let me know in the chat people 
because this is very important. These are all basics. This is mean formula. This is variance formula, which I expect all of you to know. If you don't know this, then we have a serious problem. If you don't know this, then we have a serious problem. Okay. So now x plus y is how much? x plus y is equal to 5 into 4 is 20. 20 minus 10 is 10. Okay. So x plus y equal to 10. We got it. Now, what is this? Let's solve the right side equation also. What do we have? This is 25. Minus 25, if I bring it here, it will become plus 25. So it will become 35. 10 plus 25 is 35. And 35 into 4 is how much? 140. So 140 is equal to 9 plus 49 plus x square plus y square. So what will x square plus y square come out to be? So x plus y is 10, x square plus y square is 82. So 9 and 1 is the answer. And they told clearly x is greater, x is bigger. So obviously x is 9, y is 1. x is 9, y is 1. Are you all clear? Yup. Everybody happy with this? So now, shall we move forward to the next one? So now you can solve it. No, now it's not a big deal. Everybody can do this because I got x and y. So x and y, if I got, so this will be what? 3 plus 18, 21. Uh, 7 plus 2, 9. And then x plus y is 10. And x minus y is uh, 9 minus 1, 8. So mean of that is 21 plus 9 plus 10 plus 8 divided by 4. That is the mean. So that is equal to 12. Because 48 is the summation. 48 by 4 is 12. Got it? No kaja. The answer is 12. How 9 and 1? Barani, guess it Barani. Guess it. Don't solve it. X plus Y is 10. Common sense Barani. You have to think. You have to think. What two values will satisfy? Obviously 9 and 1, right? Because 9 plus 1 is 10. 9 square plus 1 square is 82. So you need to guess it. But yeah, be careful. You need to guess it properly. Clear? Okay. So let's go forward to the next one. Now, some people are telling, Sir, you gave for median formula, Sir. Median formula that continues distribution will not come in JE mains. Hello, it came. It came in JE mains. Okay. It came in JE mains. So that is also important. They can ask you questions from that. You have to study. Okay. So please try to solve it. It's a very nice question. I will show you how to do it. But first you guys try it for two, three minutes. Then we will go forward. Okay. Everybody go for it. Come on guys. I want maximum participation. Tevris, yes, you can improve, but do something extraordinary. See guys, whenever you are expecting something extraordinary, you need to work extraordinary. Please understand that. If you continue in the same manner, Tevris, then maybe no, you will not be able to improve. But if you change your heart, change your mind, become aggressive, then yes, it is possible. You can even get 95 percentile and above. It all depends on your mindset. How much sacrifice you are willing to make. So that I cannot force. You have to decide. I can only motivate and encourage you. But the real change comes from your heart and your mind. Got it? Shravani 164 is correct. Very good. So 164 is correct people. But I don't know how you are solving it. I will teach you how to solve it. Okay. Listen carefully. Everybody hear me out. The formula for median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into H. This is the formula. Correct now? Everybody knows this formula. How many of you know this formula? Let me know in the chat. Give me a fire in the chat if you know this. If you do not know this, note it down. I taught you this in the formula session. Please don't. Forget formulas. Without formulas, you can't do anything. Okay? Everybody clear? Fantastic, guys. So now, what do we have here? Sum of all the frequencies is 584. That means what? Alpha plus 
110 plus 54 plus 30 plus beta equal to 584. Correct now? So alpha plus 110 plus 54 plus 30 plus beta is equal to 584. So what is alpha plus beta? Can anybody tell me? Alpha plus beta will be how much? It is 394. Is that correct? Or 390? Because this is 164 and 194. So 194, 390 I guess. It's 390, right? I hope all of you got it. So alpha plus beta is 390. So that's the first relationship that we got. That is the first relationship we got. Now, what is median class? See, median class means, everybody please listen carefully. Yup, 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 yup. Absolutely right. Junaid, you are absolutely correct, Junaid. I'll come to that. I will come to that, okay? So, people, listen carefully, no? Your median is 45. So, what is median class? Median class is this one. Because 45 lies exactly here. Correct, na? Everybody happy? So, median is 45. The lower limit of that class is 40. What is n by 2? n is total frequency. So n by 2 is 292. Minus cumulative frequency of the previous class. So cumulative frequency of the preceding class. That means I have to add all these three. So that will be 164 plus alpha. Divided by frequency of the median class. 30 into class interval that is 10 now get alpha once you got alpha you can get beta over can you finish it off easy laddu so 10 and 10 will get cancelled 45 minus 40 will be 5 so this is equal to 5 so 3 into 5 is 15 so let's make it 15 and let's remove the denominator so now what will I have 15 is equal to 292 minus 164 minus alpha. So 294 minus 164 is how much? It is 128. Correct now? So it is 128 minus alpha. So alpha is equal to 128 minus 15 which is equal to 113. That's your alpha. Got it? Everybody clear? So your alpha is 113. Now your beta will be what? Your beta will be 390 minus 113, which is 277. That is how you solve it. Now I got alpha. Now I got beta. It's over. Everybody clear? Happy? So shall we move forward? So once you get alpha, beta, now you can find out the difference between them and take the modulus. It's a piece of cake. If you guys enjoyed this question, let me know in the chat, people. Come on. Everybody, quick, 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 quick. This is the procedure to solve in a very formal manner. You will not make any mistake if you follow this. Very good, Guru Swami. Yes, Junaid, I know, man, it's a slightly lengthy method, but it's very formal approach. So nobody will get confused, Junaid. That's the reason I took it. I hope all of you are clear. Okay, so let's move forward, my dear boys and girls. Let's go to the next one. Everybody, try this. Again, a good question. Again, a very good question. Please try it out. Everybody should try. Come on, guys. Yes, it's Dev Place. Yeah, we master Tamil Nadu State Board channel has opened today. And at 7 o'clock, the first session is going live. So do check it out. Lokesh, very good. Akhil, welcome to our channel, Akhil. Nice to have you here. Sujita, thank you so much. Yes, Guru Swami, don't worry. I will help you. It's Dev. Check in the V Master channel. Yesterday we launched it. Okay. Yesterday we launched it together. Me, Ashima ma'am, Amrit sir. Check that video. Under that video description, 
you will find the state board channel link okay please go check it this is a different session so let's not get diverted everybody says 12 are you sure because 12 is not correct no 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 12 is wrong my dear Sanjeevani nice to see you Sanjeevani long time no see how are you I am seeing you after a long long time I hope you are doing good both are given Dev place both are given check 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 read carefully you will find out answer is no everybody is guessing they are like sir 10.5 sir 11.5 sir 12 sir hello none of that answer is 11 okay now now I know you guys are simply saying now I know you guys are simply saying okay I'll only solve so better listen carefully to me okay now I know you guys are just fooling around so let me solve it you listen very good very good Sanjeevani awesome so people everybody listen carefully I'll teach you how to solve this it's a good question it's not that simple okay so first of all the mean deviation about median so what is median how many terms you have you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if you have 8 terms median is equal to what is the formula it is n by 2th term plus uh, n by n by 2th term n by 2 plus 1th term average of that correct now the average of that so median is equal to 4th term 4th term is 2k plus 5th term is 12 5th term is 12 is that right everybody okay with it are you all clear my dear boys and girls I hope all of you are happy by 2 so the median is k plus 6 are you all clear this is the first step the first step is to find the median got it superb this is the first step let's go step by step let's not rush it very good Akhil Akhil told the right answer Abhishek Gauda also has told the right answer great job so median we found out now we want mean deviation about median so mean deviation is equal to how much Sigma Xi minus Median is k plus 6 divided by total number of observations. That is your mean deviation. Correct now? Everybody is happy. So that mean deviation is 6. So that mean deviation is 6. So did I write all the information in the question? Did I write all the information in the question? Got it? So 8 into 6 is 48. So let's bring it this side. So 48 is here. Now I just need to simplify my right hand side. Okay. So 48 is equal to what? 48 is equal to xi is what? 3. So 3 minus k plus 6. Plus next is what? 5 minus k plus 6. Next is what? 7 minus k plus 6. Next is what? 2k minus k plus 6. Next is what? 12 minus k plus 6. Next is what? Uh, 16 minus k plus 6. 21 minus k plus 6. And then 24 minus k plus 6. Now people, they told it is arranged in ascending order. It, it is arranged in ascending order means we know that 2k is less than 12 or equal to so can I say k is less than or equal to 6? Correct now? Are you all clear? Very good. Why k plus 6? Spiritual. That is the median. You joined late I think. Pull the video back and see. Pull the video back and see. They are asking mean deviation about median. About median they want mean deviation. So median is k plus 6. So everything I have to find deviation from the median from k plus 6 got it understood very nice so this is a very good point I hope you liked it because it's arranged in ascending order 2k will be less than equal to 12 so k is less than equal to 6 why do you need it sir hello I need it because only then I can open this 
Only then I can open all this. Okay. So if I if I simplify this, what will I get? I'll get uh, what was there? I got uh, three minus k plus six. So I'll get minus k minus three. So this will be what? Minus one minus k. And this will be what? Uh, one minus k. And this will be what? This will be k minus six. And this will be what? This will be again 6 minus k. This will be 18 minus k. This will be 10 minus k. This will be 15 minus k. So now this is positive because k is smaller than 6. So if it is already positive, I will just put 18 minus k modulus will go away. This is also positive. So I will put 10 minus k. This is also positive. So I will put 15 minus k without the modulus. Now, k is less than equal to 6. So k is lesser than 6. So I will write this as 6 minus k. I will write this also as 6 minus k. Because 6 minus k is positive. Because 6 minus k is positive. Got it? And this is negative, right? So I'll modulus will remove the negative sign. It will become k plus 3. Again, here fully negative. So modulus will remove the negative sign. It will become 1 plus k. And this will again become k minus 1. Because 1 minus k is negative. So it will become k minus 1. Got it? Because 2k is greater than 7. That is also that. 2k is greater than or equal to 7. So k is greater than or equal to 3.5. So because of that, this will become k minus 1. I hope you all liked it. Everybody clear? Now it's simple addition. So 1k, 1k, 1k. 3k's will cancel with 3k's. So what do I have? I have 48 is equal to 3 plus 1, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. 3 plus 6, 9, 9 plus 6, 15, 30, 40, 58. So I'll get 58 minus, how many k's are there? Minus 2k is there. So I'll get 2k is equal to 10. I'll get k is equal to 5. So answer is 5 plus 6 because they want median. So they want the median. Median is k plus 6. K is 5. So 5 plus 6 is 11. Did you all like it? It's a very lengthy question. Absolutely yes. Thank you Sanjeevani. I am glad you are enjoying it. So people, yes, it is indeed a lengthy question. Usually when you solve mean deviation questions, they are usually lengthy. So you have to be careful. Okay. They are usually lengthy and boring to solve. But please develop the attitude to deal with them. Okay. Did you all enjoy it? So k is done. So median is k plus 6. So 5 plus 6 is 11. That's how you solve it. Got it? Hello Yukta. Nice to see you. Long time. So with that, let's go to the next question. Come on people. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Everybody try to solve it. Okay, 320, Deepshika, that's very fast. But anyway, I'll, I'll help solve this question. Guys, this is easy. Mean variance, now we have solved enough questions. You should by now be able to answer everything. If I give you a mean and variance question, you should be like jumping. You should be like excited. Correct, na? Abhishek, very good. Shravani, Deepshika, fantastic. What about others? Are you all having fun? Are you guys learning something useful from this session? Yep. Everybody cool with this? So shall I move forward? Can I solve this for you? Let's do this together. Come on. So mean is 6. Okay. So mean is 6. Variance is 9 by 4. Okay. So mean is x bar. That is equal to 6. That is equal to what? The sum of all the observations. Correct now. 
फोर प्लस फाइव प्लस सिक्स प्लस सेवन प्लस एट प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई डिवाइडेड बाई हाउ मच वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ओके सेवन ऑब्जर्वेशन राइट आई होप आई डिड इट करेक्ट सो सेवन इंटू सिक्स इज फोर्टी टू सो फोर्टी टू इज इक्वल टू नाइन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थर्टी प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई सो एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल ट्वेल्व इज दैट करेक्ट पीपल Is that right? Everybody happy with this? So shall I move forward? Shall I move forward? Are you all clear with this? So this expression we will write it. This is only from mean, only from the average. Okay. So let's write it separately here. We know that x plus y equal to twelve. Now let's work on the next data. Next data is what? Variance. Variance is nine by four. So nine by four is Sigma x i square by n, so that is four square plus five square plus six square plus seven square plus eight square plus x square plus y square by seven minus mean square. Mean square is thirty six. Did you all like it? Was it beautiful? Yup. Are you all clear? So now bring the thirty-six to the left-hand side. If I bring the thirty-six to the left-hand side, I'll get like this. Everybody happy with this? Yup. Are you all clear? Yes. Did I make any mistake, guys? Can you please check it? Mean is six. I use that. Now variance is nine by four, so nine by four is sigma x i square by n minus mean square. Correct only, guys. I have solved it right only. Okay. So from here you can get what is x square plus y square. Can you all do it, please? Can you get what is x square plus y square? Yup. Nanda, everyone solved it in one minute. That is not possible. Okay, this is a time-taking question, so you guys can solve it. Get x square plus y square. So you'll have two equations. Compare it and get the answer. Is that clear, people? Did you all like it? Yup. Are you all clear, guys? This is also perfectly correct. There's nothing wrong with this. You will get the answer here also. Okay, you have to get the answer. You have to get the answer. How can you not? Okay, so shall we move forward? See, otherwise, what you can do is, otherwise, what you can do is, so can I say, variance is nine by four. It is sigma square, right? So can I say sigma square is summation x i minus x bar whole square by n? Can we do that? Is that okay? Is that okay with everybody? Are you all happy with that? So we can do that also. Nine by four is equal to x i is what? Four minus mean is six. So four minus six whole square. So two square. Five minus six whole square. One square. Six minus six whole square. Zero square. Seven minus six whole square. One square. Eight minus six whole square. Two square. X minus six whole square. Plus y minus six whole square. So that is sigma x i minus x bar whole square by our n. Now you can get the answer. Both are same, guys. Both are same. What I did earlier, what I am doing now, both are same. So you solve it, you will get the answer. I hope all of you are clear. But the only thing is, I am worried about the values because seven is not a very good value. Okay, are you all clear? That is how you solve it, people. I hope you liked it. With that, we'll move forward. See, that's what I'm saying. No, here they have put eight. Did I miss any value? Yeah, I have missed one value. See, two sixes they have given. Two sixes they have given. Got it? So that's why I was worried. Okay. So they have given two sixes. The question is typed wrong. Okay. So that is why I was thinking seven should not come, eight should come, okay. But anyway, the concept is still the same. I hope you all enjoyed it. Shall we move forward? Everybody happy? Everybody clear? Yes. 
So let's go forward, my dear boys and girls. Next question. Quick, 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 quick. People, everybody try to solve it. What is F0 value? See, Kavish, it depends on which formula you are following. In my formula session, I took F0 as frequency of the class preceding the model class. Okay. And Kaushal, try to solve with easy topics. Okay. Start with easy topics. Statistics. Matrices, determinants, and sequence series, mathematical reasoning, these are all easy. Quadratic, that will give you confidence, Kaushal. So start with that, okay? Maybe C. Yukta says C. Many people are saying C. So let's check whether you guys are right. Nani, nice to see you, Nani. Welcome. Nice to have you here. So people, let's do it. Come on. Everybody listen carefully. The mean of 7 observations are 8 and variance is 16. And two observations are 6 and 8. Then what is the variance of the remaining 5? So we know sigma xi from i equal to 1 to 7. 7 observations. Divided by 7 is equal to 8. So sigma xi is how much? Total sigma xi is 56. For all the 7 observations. And what is variance? Variance is 16. So variance is equal to sigma xi square from i equal to 1 to 7 divided by 7 minus mean square mean square is 8 square correct now everybody clear so 8 square is what 64 64 if it comes this side minus 64 here if I add it will become 80 so 80 is equal to sigma xi square from i equal to 1 to 7 by 7 so if I multiply 7 here I will get 560 so 560 is equal to Sigma xi square from i equal to 1 to 7. Okay. So these are the data which I want to collect. Are you all clear until now? Are you all clear until now? Yep. Everybody happy? Yes. Superb, superb, superb. So now people, I will erase this. And keep these two data alone. I will erase this and I will keep these two data alone. Okay. So now what do we have? We are removing 6 and 8. So from the total summation, I am removing 6 and 8. Okay. So we have x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7. Like that we have 7 observations. So from those, two obse from those 7 observations, Two observations which are 6 and 8 we are removing okay so I want to find the variance of the remaining 5 so the variance of the remaining 5 will be what will be Sigma xi square i equal to 1 to 7 minus 6 square minus 8 square because these two are removed Divided by how much? Divided by 5. Why 5? Because totally 7 are there. From that 2 are removed. So divided by 5. Minus mean of the remaining 5. Mean of the remaining 5 means from the total summation 56. I have to remove 6 and 8. So 56 I will remove 6 and 8. That will be 42. I will divide by 5 and I will square it. So this is the answer. Please solve it. So it will be how much? 560 minus 100. So 460 by 5 minus it will be 42 by 5 whole square. So that will be how much? 92 minus 42 by 5 whole square. That will give you the answer. Okay. Are you all clear? I think it is option C people. So 92 minus 42 square by 5. How much will that be? 92 minus 42 square is how much? 16, 0, 
वन एट टू फोर इज दैट करेक्ट या फोर्टी टू स्क्वायर इज इट वन एट टू फोर आई होप दैट्स राइट बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू नाइंटी टू वी नीड टू फिगर इट आउट माइनस वन एट टू फोर सो ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू नाइनटी टू दू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस वन एट टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट्स दी आंसर सो दैट बी फाइव फाइव हंड्रेड और वन सेवन सिक्स फोर आई एम सॉरी गाइस या वन सेवन सिक्स फोर आई एम सॉरी या I wrote zero like two. I got confused with my own handwriting. It happens in exams, right? So if you subtract it, you will get five thirty six. Okay, so five thirty six by twenty five is the answer. Are you all happy? Was it awesome? Did you enjoy it? Yes. So now with that, let's move forward to the next question. Come on, guys, everybody. This is our another legendary question. Everybody, try to solve it. Let's do it together. Mani Sampath, welcome, Mani Sampath. Nice to see you. Very good, Karthik. Exactly, Anil. You are right, Anil. So, shall we move forward? Quick, 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 quick. Come on, guys. Okay, Raghav says option D. Very good, Raghav. Ganch is also right. Ritwik Reddy, superb. Fantastic, fantastic. Mr. Aspirant is also right. Yukta is right. Abhishek Gaud is also right. Fantastic. So let's see how to solve this question, people. So this is very easy question. It uses properties. That's why it's a brilliant question. See guys, let me tell you one thing. Can I say the the standard deviation of this and standard deviation of so standard deviation of this and this both are same, correct or wrong? Did you listen to my lecture? Did you listen to my formula revision? today standard deviation of this and this both are same because standard deviation does not depend on change of origin standard deviation does not depend on change of origin that's it now it's easy because for this standard deviation is very easy given the question St variance sigma square that is standard deviation square is equal to xi minus a whole square that is n a by n minus mean mean is what this divided by n okay because for this what is the standard deviation for this the standard deviation is sigma x i minus a whole square by n minus sigma x i by minus a by n whole square so that's the formula so sigma x i minus a is what whole square is na so numerator will become na and sigma xi minus a is what it is n so put n here so n n cancel n n cancel so sigma square is equal to a minus 1 so sigma square is a minus 1 sigma is root of a minus 1 over option d was it amazing Are you all clear? Absolutely, Sanjeevani. That's true. It's very unfair, and also the percentage criteria, seventy-five percent, is very bad for droppers. I hope they will do something about it. So yeah, let's move forward. Everybody, please check it out. Nitya, you can mail vcare at vedantu dot com. Nitya, what you can do is mail vcare at vedantu.com. V 
Vedantu V, right? V care, C A R E, at Vedantu.com. Tell them that you want Shimon sir, Shreyas sir, and uh, Vazim sir, crash course AI live. I told you we took AI live crash course. So that you ask, they will give you, don't worry. Okay? So let's move forward, guys. Next question. Come on, everybody try to solve it. Kavish, that's a very good question, man. Kavish is asking you, what is the model class's first class? Then how do you get... See, in that case, you cannot take F0. They will never give you a question in which you have to find in that fashion. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that, Kavish. There will never be a question in which they will give you a model class which is the first class only, man. In that case, the formula itself is not applicable. Okay, everybody clear? So shall we move forward? Everybody says option B. I don't think so. Check it, check it. Mr. Aspirant, I think you are right. Deepshika, very good Deepshika. Okay, so people, let's try to solve this question. Please listen carefully. What do we have here? The mean is uh, 5. Uh, mean is 5. And standard deviation is 2. That's what I guess they have given. So mean is what? Mean is 5. So x bar is 5, which is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus a plus b by 5. So a plus b is how much? A plus B is equal to 10. Okay. So sum of the roots is 10. So this is wrong. This is, this may be right. This may be right. This may be right. So B, C, D can be right. Because sum of the roots is minus B by A. Sum of the roots is minus B by A. Minus B by A. So with this, I can eliminate option A alone. Now, what is standard deviation? Sigma is 2. So, variance is sigma square, that is 4. That is equal to what? That is equal to square of everything. 3 square plus 5 square plus 7 square plus a square plus b square by 5 minus mean square. Mean square is 5 square. So, 5 square is 25. So, if I bring it to the left hand side, it will become 25 plus 4. So, that will be 29. So 29 will be there and this 5 I will cross multiply. So 29 into 5 will be 145. So that will be 145. So now sum this up. 3 square is 9. 9 plus 25 34. 34 plus 49. That is 83 I guess. So 145 is equal to 83 plus A square plus B square. So I think 62 is equal to a square plus b square. Now you can find out the remaining values. Are you all clear? Everybody? Happy? Yes? So you want to find product of the roots. So you want to find ab. Because ab if you find, you can tell the product of the roots. So a plus b is 10. So a plus b whole square is what? a plus b whole square is 100. So a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. That is equal to 100. And we know a square plus b square is 62. We know a square plus b square is 62. So 2ab is equal to 100 minus 62, 38. So ab is how much? ab is 19. Because 2ab is 38, ab will be 19. So that is why option D is the right answer. Okay, did you all love it? Was it epic? Was it epic, my dear boys and girls? Are you all happy with this? Shall I move forward? Yep. Clear? Great, great, great. 
Guys, in exam you can solve faster. I am doing it slow because I am explaining. If I solve this, I will solve it in under 2-3 minutes at max. Okay, I am telling you slowly. I am telling step by step by step so that you guys will gain confidence. Once you gain confidence, then you can increase your speed. First you should know something to increase speed. Nah? That's why I'm doing it slow. Okay, so don't get miscarried. Like thinking that it is Shimon sir only is taking so much time. Then for me and all it will take long time in exam. So don't feel like that. Okay, great. So let's move forward to the next one. Everybody go for it. Come on guys. Quick, 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 quick. What happened? Everybody is tired, huh? Are you guys bored? Come on people, don't give up. Solve it and complete it. Solve, solve, solve. Quick. Everybody be quick. The mean and variance of 8 observations are 10 and 13.5. So, if 6 of these observations are given, what are the remaining 2 observations? So, let's take the remaining 2 observations as x, y. So, mean is how much? Mean is 10. So, that is equal to 5 plus 7, 12, 22, 34, 48, 63. So, 63 plus x plus y by 8. So we know x plus y is how much? 17. That's the first information. Did you all like it? Did you all like it? Are you all happy? Yep. Everybody clear with this? Can you check it guys? Please do it. All of you check it and please let me know if you guys are clear. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. What is... Variance. Variance is 13.5. 13.5 means 27 by 2. 13.5 is nothing but 27 by 2. That is equal to the squares of everything. The squares of everything added together. Correct now? Shall we do that? So that will be how much? 25 plus 49 plus 100 plus 144, plus 196, plus x square, plus y square by 8, minus mean square, minus mean square which is 100. So 27 by 2 is equal to, how much is this? 25 plus 49 is 74, 174, then 274 plus 44, that is 318, I guess. 318 plus 196. So that is 518 minus 4. So 514. So 514 plus x square plus y square minus 800 by 8. Is that correct? Are you all happy with this? Please check my calculation if it is correct or wrong people. Okay. 25 plus... Oh, 15 square is missing, is it? So I missed out 15 square. So I need to add 15 square, that is 225. So 514 plus 225 will be 739. Is that correct? Because 25 plus 49 is 74. 174. 174 plus 144 is 318. 514, 739. That's correct, I guess. Okay? Yeah. So now... This you cross multiply here. So 8 if it comes to the left hand side, 2 will get cancelled. So you will get 4 into 27 which is 108. Okay. So now x square plus y square will be what? x square plus y square will be 908 minus 739. So how much is that? 100, 170, 169. So I think it's 12 and 5. So 12 and 5 are the values of x and y. So the values of x and y are 12 and 5. So the absolute difference 
the subtraction between them is 7. So answer is 7. Did you all love it? Was it ultra legendary? Was it ultra legendary? Did you guys love it? Great question, right? Easy. So that is the confidence which I want you to have. It is not difficult, my dear boys and girls. So that's about it. I have completed every question that I brought. Now, I'm sure you would face statistics with confidence in your exam. And those who did not watch my formula session, go and watch it. It will really help you a lot. Okay? I guess now that's about it. If you guys are interested, solve some of the questions in previous year's papers. That will give you enough confidence. And if you want regular sessions like this, then the crash course will be a better place. There is a live crash course going on. In case you are interested, you can join it. It started only recently. How do you join the crash course in Vedantu? Very simple. Go to the video. Below my video, you will have description. So below my video, you have description. Now, you see, there is a crash course link. So join the crash course. Maybe it will be useful for April attempt. Okay. So check it out. And people, if you enjoyed the session, smash the like button, guys. What is this? Okay. I hope you all enjoyed it. In case you liked the video, smash the like button before you leave. Okay. And comment down how, how many of you enjoyed the session. Very good. Very good. Brilliant, guys. I am glad you all loved it. So with that, we will conclude. I hope you all had fun. In case you want the PDF of this class, then join the Telegram group. This is our Telegram QR code. This is the Telegram group link. This is also given in the description. So join the Telegram group. We will give you this PDF free of cost. Okay. And also, in case you enjoyed the session, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it to some of your friends so that they'll also come and be a part of this class. Okay. So take care guys, love you all, see you in the next one. Until then, keep working, keep rocking and together we will ace this exam. Don't worry, don't fear. Okay, love you guys, bye-bye.